now. Oh, it wasn't that bad. So they said your nose is broken? They didn't know I got to go to the doctor. Otherwise, my nose would look real bad. Well, if they came, why didn't, why didn't you take, have them take you to the hospital then? They took me, but the doctor couldn't take me there. He made me go oh, to the doctor. He didn't tell me there. But, he made me go but to But when doctor. you drive, you need to concentrate on what's ahead of you. Don't look down for at water bottles. You got to be very conservative when you're driving. Why are you driving. doing that? Please, I guess I was, I was thinking. Well, I, that's obvious. But why were you doing that? That's oh, my boy. God. That's my boy. Water bottles. Yeah, but why? When you're moving, why? Why don't you pull over? If it's that important, pull off on the shoulder. Why did you do that when you're moving? You're not a fly. You can't see in you're multi-directional. You know. Why did you do this? We can only see. You're another example. Of you've got to learn the hard way, don't you? It's the only African chameleons can do what you're trying to do. One eyeball well, looks down. She one eye. Know what that means. That's... Oh, you know what? That's no. She might know. But why do you, you know? African chameleons. Oh, they may stop with the bug. Jeez. No, it's not a bug. It's a lizard. A lizard bug. Well, excuse me. I'm having a conversation with Eileen about about African You're gonna chameleons. Go on, aren't you? No, I'm gonna. She doesn't know what it is. She doesn't want to know what it is. I don't think. Do you want to know what it is? Their eyes move in different telescopic Jimmy, directions. Jimmy. Excuse me. Oh. The eyeballs move telescopically in different directions. One eye can go forward, one eye can look down. Now are you happy you know that? All right. After I'm being censored in the United States Jimmy, of America. Jimmy, no. I'm having a talk to this. Well, when I get censored, I, I, get, I, get, I get ticked off. I don't care if you get ticked off. Well, it's called censorship. No, it's not. It's called make your point and get out of the fucking thing. I'm talking to her. It's none of your goddamn business. Keep it down. It's none of your business. Keep not... it down. Oh, you, mean, you mean like this? Yes, normal speak. Why do you want because everybody I don't, to hear? No, because I'm trying to, ta I'm trying to talk to her. Why do you want everybody her. to hear? Because I want her to hear it. Why do you want everybody else to hear? Why do you want everybody else to hear? I get angry at this though. When it gets loud, and wants everybody to hear. So when everybody gets loud, you get loud. No, I don't. When have I ever right. gotten loud? I leave. If you typed in the name of the creature that I just mentioned on YouTube, you'll get probably thousands of videos on it. It's not. It's not a hidden secret. That's it. Enough said. Yeah, really. So. Yeah, but if I was talking about partying and 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 alcohol and why don't we, yeah, why don't and, we, and 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 Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I get very loud. Because she can't, I feel she can't hear. That's, well, that's her problem. If she can't hear, tell us <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, oh. God, what's this going to be? It's, it's, it's a little swollen. A little. I see a shiner. That's all I see right now. It's not going to help you get a guy. <laughs> oh, Eileen, I was just kidding. The doctor said when I go into the office, it can't be real bad, otherwise I won't be able to take x-rays. Is it real small? Like, it no, real it's not real small. No, no. Eileen, just, just go to the doctor and not, not, even, not even think about it. But you know, Look, you should... If it's for peace of mind, you sound worried. Go... And I'll tell you, it is broken or it isn't broken for peace of mind. So, but most importantly, oh, good. she's moving closer. Most, most importantly, most importantly, did you learn a valuable lesson from this? Yeah, don't look at things when you're moving. When you drive, what do you do? Don't look down. That's that's for me. Oh, by the way, uh, you know the three amigos? Not the movie where Martin Short and Steve Martin, the other guy. I'm talking about the uh, mirrors, your side view mirrors and your rear view mirror. Those are your best friends when you're driving. No, they're not. They're enemies. They'll make you have wrecks. <laughs> they're enemies. They're not amigos. Well, they help me. Oh, <laughs> amigos. All, you'll have accidents. Who is the don't, third amigo? Don't Wait look at your mirrors. It was Steve Martin, Martin Short. Yank them off. 
Sometimes I don't even look at it. Who was the third well, amigo? We that. It was a funny movie. Martin, Martin Short. Martin Chevy, Short. Chase, Chevy Chase. There you go. Okay. Uh, and Steve Martin. That wasn't a really good movie. But it was funny because there were three Caucasian guys with sombreros. So, I'll tell you the other movie I watched a part of, but I couldn't handle it. It was so boring. <laughs> it was Home Alone. I said, oh, well, that was annoying as hell. This is Home Alone. Yeah, but Joe Pesci played a good role. Yeah, Joe Pesci played a good role. I couldn't watch the movie. It was just so like, this is slow, slow. Because it's Hollywood. how long did Hollywood does it take to make a movie? Well, that's the thing. They don't make movies anymore. 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 They don't a family to realize that your son is not in the car. I mean, they're driving and driving, and then all of a sudden they're. Oh, it was awful. I watched it maybe 10 minutes. I don't think. I can't. They're miles away from home. This was a hit. You gotta be kidding. It shows a mentality. Now, if I if I was a parent, it wouldn't take me that many miles to know my kid is not in the car. Her. Next summer, she find out. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the doctor give you anything for your knee? No. Anything at all? Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a whole new bathroom. Oh, what happened with your bathroom? Well, my chain broke yesterday. It wouldn't flush. So Frankie came over. Oh. We have good maintenance guys. Okay. He came over and he went, holy oh, shit. The whole floor is leaning. I can't tell it my eyesight from the retina detached. Right. Instead, he's a good man. He said, this whole floor is, this is good. So this is not good. He said, look at the tiles. The whole floor, toilet living for everything separated. He brought in the head boss who runs the whole complex today. And you would never know it by looking on the outside of the apartment building. No, but he brought them all in today and they said, Get in the whole new bathroom. He said, I want the ceiling knocked out too. I, mean, I admire those guys. You know why? Because well, there's things done. There's a lot of. Uh, he said, he's yeah. getting a brand new toilet, a new bathtub, a new sink. He goes, You're getting a whole new, new floor. This is the building manager. Yeah. He said, You're getting new everything, a whole new bathroom. He goes, We'll, wow. we'll figure something out. Either we'll put you up in the hotel. Wow. Or we'll give you an apartment just to go shower. That was nice of them. He said, You can stay in the apartment, you just can't use the bathroom. And now, Jackie says, look, Billy, you get up two, three times every night. What are you going to do? Get your ass, get in the car, run to a bathroom somewhere? I'm surprised Jackie didn't tell you to get a cut. And she said, I'm going to put you in the Just, bath. You know, Walmart, no, get a cut. I, I had a, a voucher years ago to get a bed. I just didn't bother. Yeah, even a single bed, but... I just can't be bothered. I mean, compared to all the slumlords that are out there, this is a great building manager where he lives. The, now, they, I mean, they were right over there. They were right there. Boom. You know? And Frankie said, this is wrong. He said, this toilet, you should, they, they, they don't use the floating bowl anymore. He goes, Billy, no. It's archaic, right? He said, I'm getting you a whole new toilet. And then he said, he's not bringing the boss, the big boss, the big boss over the world. And he came out and he goes, I want the whole thing cleaned out. I want a brand new bathroom. Yeah. And he can't even get a toilet up there. 1956, yeah. my toilet he bowl. Get, he can't get a toilet. My toilet bowl and the windows that are, that are literal sawdust when you lift the window. Circa 1956. Yeah, but the landlord purposely didn't didn't give us a renewal lease. Well, I I think he he thinks he's gonna it's gonna give him clout. You know. Not giving somebody a lease. Is this gonna screw me if this guy is not gonna give me a lease? To get back at me for calling you people? He hasn't done it in like more than a year. Well, the, every town has a building inspector department. And, and the board, and the health board. Not to interrupt you, a lot of board of health right here or right there. They had a fit here the other day because they said somebody called the board of health and they were right there. They were right ready. I dropped it in a book. Oh, no. I didn't. What is it, Jim? What is it, Jim? What is it, Jim? Okay, let me do a chip, an Irish chip. It's a rock crystal. Jim, is that a piece right here? Yeah, probably. Right there. Probably. I've been down 40, but I can't. I, I, guess, I guess they're not like George Reeves' diamonds when he used to crush coal in his hand. You going to try to glue it back or what? <laughs> no, I'm not even going to bother. I'll probably order one. Well, in the meantime, use what's left. I'm sure this is going to be fine. Right now. Try it now. See if it does still work. You know, they're so inexpensive... Um, people that I don't even care. I'll just order one from the company that. Well, yeah, just see if it still works. In the meantime, I, I apologize for accidentally dropping you because I was talking with my hands. But are you okay, Mr. Yes. Crystal Pendulum? Yes, yes. I really, I, I meant no disrespect. I was talking with my hands. Is Eileen's nose broken? 
Oh, good question. Is our friend Eileen's nose broken from this ridiculous accident? No, Eileen. Oh, that's a yes, isn't it? Oh, that's a no. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, it's broke. It's yes, broke. It yeah. It's, well, in the past, it tells you everything and anything with looks, a yes or no. Does it hurt when you, like, touch it? It looks swollen. Uh, is it a, like a, a fracture? Is it a fracture of her nose? Of her proboscis? Her schnozola? Yeah, it's a fracture. Okay, so it's not like a clean, severe... Cut off. They cut her off. And they they got to break your nose completely and reset it. No, I don't. I'm only kidding. No, they might cut a lot off. They're going <laughs> to... Tell her... They might cut a lot off. They might amputate the tip of your nose and, and, and they put they, a clown's they nose. They put a new one on and they sew it around. A clown's nose, right? They're going to put a round clown's nose. That they, they goes beep, 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 beep. Yeah, okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I am? Wow. Remember Bozo? He had the big... <laughs> Yeah, I do, Eileen. Yes, I do, Eileen. I know, Eileen. Do you know Jim? Do you know Jim? Is that new? True, right, Eileen? Right, Jim? Oh, God. Why do you keep saying so people's right names? You know, I'm going to... No, you've got a busted nose. So help me, God. I'm bringing whiskey to put my coffee next time I know you're coming. Oh, and I want some. Bring two bottles. Okay. <laughs> my friend said if it was broken, my, my eyes would be... Would be, uh, would be uh, I have a black and blue eyes. Both eyes? No, no, it depends on the kind of break. I could think. be a mild yeah, fracture. Know. Could be mild. The severity, it could be. We well, have one that's, the left eye is black and blue. Well, 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 the, well, the crystal... black and blue, is the, it not, Jimmy? The crystal pendulum says it's like a fracture. Oh, it's black and blue, all right. It you is. you got a, You got a humdinger of a shiner. Our, our no, no, it's blue and black. Our friend here at McDonald's. It, it's Eileen. Is her nose broken from the car? It's and blue and black. That doesn't make sense. There's only a fortune teller. Yes, it's broken. Yeah, oh, it's broken. It's not black and blue. It's blue and black. Is Eileen, is Eileen be, being extremely ignorant by not believing? <laughs> she's she's mocking the the the... the the mysticism yes, and, don't, and mock these don't mock. Yes, you are being extremely evil. <laughs> you laugh. You're making a mistake. Now, this is blatant mocking. Here it is. Yes. Does Eileen have any clue as to what is going on? My brother says I know. Right into a no. It said two yeses and right into a no. Now, why is that, Eileen? <laughs> And you laugh, and you laugh. So I guess she's clueless. I mean, you don't know what's going on. We try to tell you yeah. things you will not listen Oh, how are the divining rods, by the way? Did they work? I mean, take I the straw know. Take the straw off. Uh, I didn't use a straw. The straw didn't use it. It's better with the copper thing. But I mean, they they should move. Yeah. She won't listen. <laughs> I just said she'd be very ignorant, not listening. You better not make fun of this, not you, but you better not make fun of this stuff. No, what she was doing, she... Oh, <laughs> where, where's she going now? Oh, oh she's actually going to buy food? Uh, hey, where'd the money come from all of a sudden? Oh, man. Oh, I, um, I watched a really good movie on Netflix. It, it took place in the Middle Ages. It was called The Physician. It, it, it was like, you know, the beginnings of medical science. Really, uh, oh yeah, it, it really did shatter. But it's still good. No, it, it, it's good. It's good. And um, what happened was, even though Jimmy accidentally dropped you when you broke, are you okay? It's still good. You could be used and walk things over. Yes. Well, I did pol sincerely apologize for what I did. Yes. Yeah, I felt I felt just as bad as you know. <laughs> so so here the, this, the thing I like about this movie was uh, a young Englishman traveled to the Middle East because the best school medical school happened to be in Iran in Persia where there was a Shah. Shah, my ex is uh, 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 Uncle. Right. Well, you told you told me that story. You said she was extremely pretty. 
Oh. Now, guess what? What you get? The um the water. What the hell is she doing? Is she that cheap? Is she like uh the the uh Muslim extremist? Yeah. Why do you keep getting water? <clears throat> it's not gonna work. Why don't you bring a thermos of of filtered ice water? Why don't you get yourself some food, right, Jimmy? I got po I got ponds with water. I normally bring it in anyhow. I was just being a little bit lazy today. You're not gonna get French fries or anything? I'm gonna buy French fries, yeah. I got, it's gonna cost, I think it's, it's gonna cost 500 to fix my car now for, for, for emissions. And God knows how much it's gonna fix it for getting hit, you know? Well, gee, no, I don't, you keep checking, I know, and I don't think either. What, what are you laughing at? Gee, whose fault is that? Is that Marge? Marge? They laugh at everything. At Calamity. Jesus, I mean. At least Calamity Jane used to say, help me, help me. Or sweet poly purebred from. Don't ever, ever think you an amulet. No, they tell you everything, past and present and future. What is it, an amulet? An amulet. You know That's what? A soothsayer, it tells you it actually gives you reason. Holy to crap! I, I, I. What do you want to know? I, if I was a professor and she was in the front of my class, You're laughing. I quit. Oh. I quit my career completely. Oh, I, I would just say stop it right now. <laughs> what do you want to know, Eileen? You know you should you shouldn't have looked down while you were driving. I just want I don't I don't want to be repetitive, but <laughs> what did the cop report say? Who was at fault? Cop, cop. Yes. yes. The person you call when you have an accident. Police the report. Cops? The cop didn't say anything. He just said show me your insurance. Yeah. They didn't say who was at fault here. It looks like or anything. There was, there was no other car yet. I mean, though. What'd you hit? I hit a pole. I told you. No, she didn't say a pole when I was here. He said I had a car accident. I figured she had another car. There we go. Did you know it was a pole? You did. I thought it was another car involved. You did not tell me a pole. I'm sorry, Jesus. Eileen, you said I had a car accident. I figured another car. You said I had a pole. Well, there's nothing like a Monday and Eileen at the same time. Oh. Be a bad week, I guess, huh? I don't know. Is this a bad omen? <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna kiss it and throw it away out of respect. Well, don't you want to try to put the big piece on, maybe? Uh, you know, nah, not really. Worst comes to worst, I'd rather just water, water and one, one. You did what? I can't. No, there were other fragments that kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just went. Oh, gee, Willikers. Okay. Here we go. What are you gonna do? Is it necessary for Jimmy to try to repair you with a broken off piece? No. No. It just, it'll just end up probably coming off anyway. You are okay with the piece broken off? Yeah, because the cord is on it probably. As long as, the, as, long as the cord is on. No and yes. There you go. Very well. I'll just be try to be more careful next time. Yeah. So what happened? So, <laughs> so what happened was um, the. Um, I don't want to say radical because radical is actually a positive word. Muslim extremists at the time did not want medical science, did not want this medical school to exist. And they said that anyone who's caught uh, learning from a cadaver, as in necromancy, will be put to death. She used to be a cadaver. Necromancy. Yeah. She was a cadaver? She's a necromancer. We, maybe her mind is like, nec right? like a cadaver. You should be a cadaver? Lady Cadaver? And that was Lady Cadaver. Lady Cadaver. Uh. <laughs> All right, she lies flat. With no <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, leave, I don't know what goes on in that side of my head. Okay. Oh, Jesus. What's new? What's new in the early foot? Oh, you're going somewhere. All right. Early foot. When you come back, give your get your take on the early football season.
I haven't for, I, I haven't forgotten that about the football subject. So. What do you want to know? Well, there are no yes and no questions. Yeah, yeah, you can't. As far as what? When? How is it gonna say when? Will I get through all these health issues I'm having right now pretty soon? Yes. You see how he asks questions? Well, your doctor, your doctor told you the new the That's new right. medication is working splendidly. Yeah, so it says, there you go. The the immunotherapy is working. What do you want to know? Oh, I got one. Well, well, Bill's is still stealing money from her. Well, Our money. friend Eileen at McDonald's is her brother still stealing money from her. Is I is Eileen's brother? Stop yapping! No, I'm friend Eileen from McDonald's. Our friend Eileen from McDonald's is her brother still stealing? Okay, yeah, yeah. Go with the past first. Did, all right, did all right. Brother Here we go again. Our friend Eileen from McDonald's. <laughs> Was in the past her brother stealing money from her? So there it goes. No, no, no. Oh, was this uh, 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 Eileen's imagination that this money was stolen from her? Yes. Yes. Maybe she spent it. Not by him, though. Is Eileen's so-called fiance? Um, uh, does he exist? Yes. Yes. Okay. Will this? Is he ever going to marry you? Is he ever going to marry Eileen? Ever? Now I know something's wrong. No, it said no. It's saying yes. Say yes. I told you he would. He would. When he gets sixties, what's now sixty-three? Does he? Now. That now the. Sick now what's that? With what you? The all right. Our friend Eileen has has she not been invited to his house in South Jersey because he has a wife there? A wife, you said? Yeah, a wife. It's not telling you. About. It's saying yes. He's got a wife there. He's got a wife there. So he's gonna, oh. So that means he's gonna leave or div divorce his wife and- Divorce, the, up, slide that back on a little more. Yeah, I know, it's ready to, yeah, so yeah that's because it broke. Oh, jeez, oh, Jimmy. All right, uh, is, um, Can I do that is I, you? yeah, you no, do no, it. No, I just want to yeah. I'm better off just ordering a new one. So Eileen's boyfriend is gonna leave his wife for Eileen. You know Eileen? Yeah. You? No. What's deciding? Sometimes it has to. Have you been, Marie? Did you know Eileen? Jimmy, have you ever met Ray? No, it's saying yes. He's gonna leave his wife for this one over here with the with the shiner, Eileen. Never met Ray before. Oh, I Ray, Jimmy, my friend. Ray. Just dabbling a little mysticism. That's all. A little mysticism. From Mo Monday, mi Monday mysticism. You've been around like four, Give four me friends and Marvin. Marvin. Margaret. Uh, the, the older one that laughed yeah. at everything. The one Sarkis, the one who died. Uh, yeah. The widow. Yeah. What's ha What's up with her? I, I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen. I used to email her. Uh, I, I mean, she used to send me messages. Who? Uh, so. No, it says it says he's gonna leave his wife for you. Uh, how come you never been? You never been to his house in South Jersey? Because my brother always intrudes. If he finds out somebody's address, he comes to the 
pleasantly, unexpectedly, and then he'll want to stay there and intrude. Why don't you just go down on your own? She, she wasn't, she's not happy about the brother, fact that. Why don't you stop by and say hi? Oh, because my brother, will insist, my brother will insist in knowing where he is, you know? My brother has an assistant knowing so, everybody's So she's a little upset that he He's might have a wife. Eileen, so she's with this Jerry fellow down in South Jersey. Jersey. Is she being honest with Eileen? She says yes. I told you, he doesn't have no wife. I know he does. He's in love with his dog. His dog is his wife. But he's going to marry his dog, not you. Is his dog female? His dog is a male. Uh -oh. oh, then he. Uh -oh. He's gay for dogs. He's gay for dogs, <laughs> just like the Catholic he's priest. Canine fag. Like the Catholic priest. Canine fag. Canine. He's crazy about his dog, and he likes me at the same time too. Why you bark? You bark as well as a dog. <laughs> he, does he ask you to bark during sex? <laughs> no. Is this guy down in South Jersey that Eileen likes so much? Is he? Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Salt and pepper. Remember that song? Here we go. No. No. Jesus. His mindset's not well. He's not all there. Does he... Is his name is Jerry, I think it says. Is he not all there? Jerry Mahoney? What? He's not all there. Does does he make Eileen bark during sex? Because he's he loves his dog so much. Are he and Eileen good together? <laughs> no. No. Why are you laughing? Everybody argues. No, we argue at times. Uh, really about arguing. Nobody's arguing here. I just said, are you good together? He says no. They, they know. <laughs> Well, you know, life is really about common sense most of the time. And he's on medication. You both can sit together and share drugs. You can share drugs together. The both of you are medicated. You and more. It's the laughing. I don't. Is, is there dog med? Is his dog medicated too? Now, do you ever have a menage? What kind of dog? In this heat, he's got an Alaskan Husky, a Malamute. I feel sorry for those. Yeah, but oh yeah, definitely beautiful dog. It's like a wolf. You know, I don't know. What are you saying? I know. And a Samoyed is gorgeous too. They're from Siberia. They're white, all white, and huge. Like I said, he's not of sound mind. Not, not every, not, not every people got problems, and when they got problems, they, they might act a little crazy. Well, some people are in an insane asylum, too, and some aren't. Do, do, so, insane, do, insane, so. do, do insane couples uh, usually give birth to babies that have mental issues, or does it's not written in stone? It's like with, with midgets, like, uh, a little people. They have normal sized people. Two blind people will not give birth to a blind person. Blind mellow jelly. Yeah, no, but I'm, you know, like that. Oh, what's your take on this football season? But don't say that I said that, Bill. Everybody's got problems. He's pretty sane for the most part. How could he be carrying a gun as a policeman, you know? He's, He's a cop? He's sane, you know? Who's saying that? My, my, guy my guy's a cop. A He's a cop? I didn't know this. Now yeah, she's telling me. She... Well, I never, I never knew he was a cop. You never told us he's a cop. How come yeah. all these years? He's been a cop for all these years. He's just retired. Ask it. Is Arlene's guy? He's a retired cop, but he oh, he's retired now. Oh, oh, okay. So he's got a pension. Oh, he's got money. Yeah, but when Ooh. he says, when he says, when he's got problems. No wonder why Eileen wants to marry this guy. Does Eileen are using him for his pension? Okay, is it is Eileen using use is Eileen using the oldest female American female trick in the book? Is she a gold digger for this guy's pension? <laughs> Says yes. Oh, 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 you women's have dollar signs in front of your eyes. Oh, shame on you. Is Eileen and this guy from South Jersey are they a good match? Is Eileen and his so-called fiancé boyfriend from South Jersey a good match? 
Oh, they're both nuts, maybe. It says yes, you're a good match. I guess for every woman, there's a man. For every man, there's a woman. I guess Puerto has two to a room now. I guess, I don't know. Oh, what's that other one? Gray Greystone? The Greystone? Oh, that's gone, I think. That's been Greystone? Gone. Oh, my God. I heard. Is Greystone shut down? I think it is. That's where, like, people go. That was for the hardcore. That was yeah, bad. like criminally insane. Oh, that was is Greystone the, the, the home for the criminally in, oh, home for the insane asylum. It was an asylum. Is that gone? No. Still exists. Oh God. Yeah, but that could be because you're both that's, little, you know. That's uh. That's nice to hear. Yeah, let me ask it. Yeah. Oh no, it was saying we're compatible, but for him it's from South Jersey. Yeah, are they a good match together? Maybe that means they're pyrotechnics. They 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 use matches. No, Jimmy. No, they're not a good well, match. No, look. Jimmy, there we are. So maybe Jimmy, Jimmy, maybe you hold it wrong, and maybe it's your angle. Look at that. Look, that's a big no. Look. But we are. So yeah, how could it be meant for each other? And maybe it's pissed at me because I dropped it. No. Uh, but then again, he hasn't followed through. Which is this guy that I only claimed as a boyfriend down in South Jersey? Is he lying to her, to her a lot? Yes. Billy's very good at this stuff. He's lying to you a lot. Said before, he was honest, so you can't no, I didn't that. ask him if it was honest. I did not ask him that. No, I didn't. Did you hear it? Yes, you did. Look at that. No, no, no. He, he's very good this at doing this. This guy down south, Eileen calls her guy. Is he being honest, totally honest with Eileen? Right into a no, no hesitation. No, it did not. No, well, you hear things, you know that. Look at that, Jimmy. Right wow, look, look, look at that, look at that. I mean, it's not even a small, that's a, that's a, a big, big swing, so. answer. No, I did not, Eileen. I did not ask her. Oh, my nudge, you help me. Keep please. saying that. And, uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you the. In the instructions for divining rods, you have to hold them slightly downward, so gravity will will not impede their motion. Well, I know that. I don't want to hold it back when it comes in. With. I know that. No, yeah, when it comes. Well, you to, can't be in there. Come on, you know, Yeah, you but no, you, but you, you got to hold it like you know. It'll work because it went like. No, I'll give it some more shots. Don't yeah, worry. but hold it down. You can't be the man. Oh, yeah. It's just a hell of a fun, real quick. I mean, worst I, comes I mean, second. So called, our friend from McDonald's. Ouch! Valley, her friend, her friend down south, she calls my guy. Is she keeping another woman or women secret from her? Yes. Look, Jimmy. Look at that. Yes. Is she married? Somewhere else? No. Well, but he's keeping women secret, married or not. I leave for more now. Well, is there a woman? Is he living? Woman he's living with another woman, even though he's not married. Yes. That's why she hasn't been down there. Six years. I mean. Look at that, Jimmy. Look. Oh. I, I picked up a shard of the crystal and it stabbed me. <laughs> I'm not doubt. I'm not doubting the, that. You know, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. Uh, so how? So what teams look good this year for football? See, uh, 2018. I think my Colts are going to be back, maybe back to normal, because luck is going to be a back, and they really drafted well and built up that front line. So if you get the old Colts back with the front line, you're, you're, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. And, and my message to all offensive players is 
don't dance until you cross the end zone. Uh, oh, well, until you officially score a touchdown. Yeah, but then again, I don't was show always, I was always pull up by my dad and others. Just don't do it. I mean, if you want to do it, it's nothing wrong. But first score the point. But act like you've been there before, like this is nothing. I always took the ball and just went over the refs. So I didn't go dancing and gyrating anyway. Like like that Colt did in the playoffs, and he and, and it was called that it wasn't a touchdown. He prematurely danced, and he didn't officially. I don't think that was a Colt. Like he barely stepped. He, he thought. He well, barely stepped. Was a Colt, I've seen a couple times. It was in the playoffs, yeah. But that's. Yeah. Don't. don't do it till you get that whistle, man. Yeah. Like like uh, Pete Rose used to catch the ball in the outfield two-handed. Uh, two the old way. The old-fashioned way, reinforcing the mitt. No, reinforcing the mitt, though. Well, he, he, was, a con he was a conservative he was outfielder. No, he wasn't. Pete Rose was an infielder. No, no, Pete Rose was, I think, center field. And oh, then there was first base And then there was field. George... Uh, Foster was out in the outfield also, and um, um, yeah, why? What do you want to know? And uh, uh, um, it was Dan Drees? No, um, because I asked him. Does Jimmy accidentally drop you? Is it my name? Lana said no. Um, Griffey, Ken Griffey, Ken Griffey, George Foster, and uh, Pete Rose. The old. You want to know if this guy's going to marry you? Listen, the guy... The, I asked you, She I mean, won't I mean, accept the fact that, that it's been over guy, six years. This guy that Eileen calls her guy down at South Jersey. Is he going to marry her ever? No. Look, Jimmy. Yeah, it, it was. it's probably ticked off at me because I dropped it, but I know you're good at it. I'm not. Are you mad at? Are you mad at? Are you mad at Jimmy Madonna because he accidentally dropped you? No. Huh. Maybe you have more psychic psychic uh, abilities than than I. It's very possible. Look at that, Jim. Look. Look. All right. Is are you are you sure that you're not mad at Jimmy Madonna? I didn't know he asked for verification, Jimmy. Okay. Is, Thank you. Is William... No, you have to do it. All right. It, all right. Is William H. Morrow III, uh, does he possess um, above-average psychic abilities? Me, the one holding you right now, do I possess above-average psychic abilities? Yes. Right and you also have learned, and you, and you also have learned. Uh -huh. Is my nose broken? We answered that. I said yes. And, and you also know how to properly ask questions. Our friend Eileen here at McDonald's is nervous, obviously, and scared. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gee. Right and go again. Right and go yes, I'm verified. Now, is her nose broken from her car accident? Yes. Now, she went into a poll by looking down. That's pretty serious to go into a poll. Makes your poll. That means your your poll. I have to go to the doctor and find out if it's broken. What? Well, find I out? I, I don't understand. Find out the doctor not telling you either which way. Come on, they can tell by just wiggling like that, and they'll see it's broken. They'll find out right away. But she was there. Why didn't they tell you when you were there? Wait a minute. You were in the ER. And they didn't tell her. I said, I cannot believe a doctor didn't tell you which way. Because it is a little black and blue what on, on what top, I, what right? I oh, and the ER doctor would not tell you. But it looks a little black and blue on top. Oh, yeah, I have x-ray vision. Like, like uh, what is George Reeves, Superman? I could see it. No, it's a little black and blue on top. and But you got the big shiner. But I'm just saying, it looks a little black and blue up here and swollen. Unless you wear glasses that are pinching you. All right. He would have told her. And he I don't heard. understand this. No, any ER doctor would say that. All they do is wiggle, and they say, you're broken. Well, you know, their, be their bedside manner at Hackensack yeah, University still, Medical I mean, that's, that's just basic medicine. Medicine people know they can tell, feel the nose. They can tell. And this guy told you nothing. What did he tell you? Maybe he's friends with your, your fiance. Maybe he's like... 
is just go no no. He said what? In the ER, he said just go to another doctor. So how competent is this guy? This guy's an ER doctor. He's an MD and says go to somebody else. This is very this weird. this is really this weird. Is odd. Akinsak University Medical Center. Didn't, with with all the money that goes into they that facility. Not somebody this incompetent. I can't even tell you whether our nose is broken. I would file a complaint. Did you understand his his English? What did you say? What's I gonna say? I didn't know what to say. Nobody's doing anything. Oh my God! Nobody, what, is doctor, is my nose broken or what? Bartender, what? whiskey. Uh, Jameson's Irish whiskey, please bring a yeah. bottle over they here. Take it, they take advantage of it. Well, no, that's no, not. That's, this no. is just about a broken nose, Irene. It's not about taking advantage. You the have advantage. to ask questions. It's about not being informed. And why didn't this guy inform me? What, what diagnosis did he give you? Just go see another doctor? I can't believe that. Can you? This doesn't make sense to me. I can't believe you go to an ER and he just goes to get another doctor. Can I hear no, I don't know. Well, you, well, you're, you're mentally ill. Pretty, you, yeah, but you want to know your diagnosis. That's the whole idea. Can you tell me everybody that's mentally ill they misdiagnose and just so that's all they do. I can't believe that. That that's part of the exam is getting the diagnosis. Something. I mean, come it on. Very strange. Hey, Billy, how about that? That asshole Jeff Sessions. What a what a dickhead he is. Why? What did you do now? Well, you know, he without he wants to he there he's he's ignoring people applying applying for political asylum. At, well, no, we at, know that. I mean, this is something new. Today. Well, no, he wants to uh, without due process wants to send people back. Like he want they want to send her back do without due process. I don't know, back to where the, the Andromeda Galaxy. What is she doing? Oh, water in your looks purse? like she's pour, pouring water in her purse. You carried your purse to there? Huh? You carried your purse to there? And and, and and do you really need a humongous purse like that? What do you have in your bo uh, a body? A lot of junk? Get rid of it. Throw out the junk. You know, I mean, uh, like Archie Bunker says, for God's sakes. But I've never heard of an ER doctor who said go see another doctor. Not giving a simple broken the, nose, yes or no. All the time you I've spend sitting in the ER, and that's the answer she gets. And how'd you get there? Ambulance? If you don't have a lawyer, I would say call your, your lawyer and ask her. Tell them what happened. Misdiagnosis, the whole bit. Yeah, well, personal injury lawyer will yeah, laugh. One day I made you call the cops. You said people, uh, uh, a heroin addict came back to your place. Jaco ja and then she changed her story and said no. And you know, I'm like, oh. ja Jacoby and Myers would throw her out of the office. They'll find out she. They'll find out she's looking yes, at. You did. Oh, you said it was a heroin addict. He came back and stole your uh, phone. Oh, I swear to God, it's always I don't listen right. God, I know. She? Yes, you did. They'll find out she's looking at she's looking down at water bottles. You said a heroin addict. He came back to your apartment, and stole your phone. I know if he was on drugs then. No, you said he's a heroin addict. He came back to your apartment. Oh, help me, Jimmy. Let me ask you a question. Somebody was explaining to me that every time they had an appointment at Bergen Regional in Medical Center in Paramus in the um, behavior, now they call it behavioral health. Well, they don't, now they don't even use mental anymore, behavioral. Everybody in the waiting room, nonstop, only talks about their me their medications. They don't talk about politics, the weather, uh, 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 Donald Trump. Everything's about oh my meds, oh my meds, you know my medication. Oh, 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 oh. The meds are boring. That's boring. You talk about boring conversations. I hear about That's all. Yeah. Maybe one or two sentences. They gave me this new drug. It's kicking my ass. That's about it. Yeah, but they go on. They oh, whine. Oh, they, they, how many drugs do you want? Don't, don't you tell me you want, because I know better. One. Yeah, I don't think so. One more. Obviously, you're like, like 38. <laughs> 38. Huh? <laughs> she puts a funnel up to her mouth like an oh, or pours them in. Mm -hmm. you know a lot. <laughs> 
God. Mondays and Eileen, perfect together. I met a Don, what was it Tom Kane, ex governor of. Is Eileen on more than ten drugs right now? Our friend Eileen at McDonald's. Oh Lord, help me. More than ten. More than ten. Jesus, Eileen. What the hell? No, really? More than ten. Now you oh, see. Drugs in general, now you know? see. You see how Damn, big. You, I mean, you see what a what a racket big farmer really is. Is she on less than fifteen drugs? They're, they're worse than drug dealers. Damn, I think it's not even less than fifteen. Oh my God. She's pumping. She. She's pumping. She's pumping lots of pills. In. My boyfriend, my guy, my guy, my guy, my boyfriend. Hey, Bob, B, 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 my nose. Is Eileen very, very afraid of you? I'm not afraid of him. He's telling lies. Yes. Is 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 Eileen insulting and mocking you? Eileen's afraid of him. And that's why she's. That, that's why she's she's besmirching. Are you telling the truth? about Eileen. It's going yes. The pendulum is turning clockwise. How many, how many are you on? Is Eileen on less than 15 drugs? No. You, you know how like obese. You know how obese people. You know how obese people lie about their diet. They always say. Oh. All right. We'll see you two later. Yeah. Right. Hey, Eileen. 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 It's broken. Buy a new one. Well, how do you know it's broken? You sound afraid of it. She's showing fear. I could hear the... the... Is Eileen afraid of you? I might be afraid that it's not broken, but I know it's... I might be afraid it's not broken, but I, I know it's not working. Eileen, you about my medicine. Is Eileen showing, showing fear for you, Crystal Pendulum? Big yes. Are, are, are you being honest about the amount of pi uh, the amount of medications Eileen's taking? Yes. Yes, it's being honest about the the meds that you're pumping in your body. More? Less. Oh, is Eileen taking less than ten? Okay, but is she taking close to 10? Eileen. Oh, it's over 10. I already asked that. No, I already told her that. Yeah, no, so, so you're taking a whole heap and helping of, of meds, man. You're pumping them. You're, you're, you, they got, they're, they're, they, they're making money. Those doctors are getting commission off of this. I know the doctors put me on a lot of meds, and you don't care. No, I spe Bergen Regional is notorious for that crap. Yeah, that's it. Only one, but, uh, it, 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 you never know. It might be the one I need. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I can hear the fear in her voice. You sound nervous. I'm all messed up. That's why. No, you, you sound know, nervous. You sound down. very. Now, what are you going to do? What are you going I'm to do? Eileen, what are you going to do about your nose now? Since this guy said go to another doctor. I'm nervous about my nose being broken too. Yeah. Where, are you, where are you going to go? Beep, 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 I'm going to go to the neighborhood. I'm wondering how I'm going to get there. If Taki will give me a ride. Oh. I asked him to call me back. Who? I was wondering if I'm going to get the aid. I asked Taki. But you said your car is you, you driving. I don't know how to get Monday the mania. I don't know how to get the mania. It's not hard. I just don't know the name of the Wait a minute. Maywood. You said Maywood? That's yeah. right over here. It's about, I don't know where the place is, though. Uh, um, go to um, MapQuest or, or Google Maps. Go to Google Maps. You go to Google and you click the, the, the drop-down menu. Says, do all 
and then you click maps. Where's your brother live? It's a download. It's a, it's a, he can't come down here and drive you to the. It's a no brainer. As far as that's concerned, Bill, I have to, I have to rely on strangers, and strangers don't have to. Hi, listen, listen. Go to your browser, type in MapQuest map dot com. I'm gonna hope it's a pack people's text. Did you get your amulet? Yes, yeah, in my pocket. I just you gotta, you gotta check, get that nose checked out. Out of respect. No, I'll take that with you and put it on your desk. Nah, I wouldn't throw it out. It, it's garbage. Ask it, is that garbage? Is the piece of broke off garbage? Well, it's not. I, no, it's not garbage. It's just it's. I'm fussy about defect, defective merchandise, and it's my fault. I take full responsibility. Ask, ask the ambulance. Is this garbage? I don't want it. All right. I'm not, you know, it's... Pacting? What the hell is pacting? Is that Pac-Man? Sounds like Pac-Man to me. you got to get that nose checked. When? How much longer are you going to wait? And are you going to tell this other place what the ER doctor did? Nothing? Spasm me up, man. I don't want to complain. I have to go back to that. I might have to go back to that emergency room. What's I got to do with it? The, the guy didn't diagnose you. If I complain about everybody in the emergency room, then they won't want to help me. And you complain. Oh, well, they might throw you out. I think you're making excuses. You're not giving reasons. They yeah. fuck you, and you don't want to do a damn thing about it. But I, again, I hope you learn a very valuable lesson I'm gonna get from stop. your drive with your driving <laughs> habits. Okay, I gotta go too. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.